Welcome to another episode of Fill in the Blank Podcast. I'm here with Evan. To conk or not to conk. Evan, what's the worst way to die that you can think of? <sighs> Don't ask me that. What about death by <laughs> coconut? That's that that at least be uh comical. Comical death. Did you know more people die from coconuts than sharks? I did know that. Really? Sh- sharks sharks don't like they don't kill, kill a lot of people, people. Yeah, surprisingly. They they only kill people by like complete accident. <laughs> well, let me tell you about the killer, the killer fruit, death by coconut. So coconuts falling from their tree and striking individuals cause serious injury to the back, neck, shoulders, and head. They can potentially be fatal. So following a 1984 study on injuries due to falling coconuts, exaggerated claims spread concerning the number of deaths by falling coconuts. Falling coconuts, according to urban legend, kill a few people a year. The legend gained momentum after the 2002 work of a noted expert on shark attacks was characterized as saying that falling coconuts kill 150 people each year worldwide. The statistic has often been contrasted with the number of shark-caused deaths per year, which is around five. Concern about the risk of fatality due to gravity's pull on coconuts led local officials in Queensland, Australia to remove coconut trees from beaches in 2002. One newspaper dubbed coconuts the killer fruit. Historical reports of actual death by coconut nonetheless date back to the 1770s. Coconuts also played a lethal role in the South Pacific during World War II. According to published accounts, Japanese forces weaponized the tropical fruit by turning them into coconut bombs filled with acid and a hand grenade. Coconuts can be a weapon. I don't think a coconut makes that noise when it hits you, but... (laughs) If it was a grenade inside of it, probably. So actually, 2.5% of head trauma injuries contributed to falling coconuts. Steps have been taken to stop this unusual death. The first one is helmets. The second one is monitors of coconut trees. The third one is modifying coconut trees to grow only 5 feet tall. So the impact from a 5 foot high coconut tree a coconut hitting you from five feet not gonna hurt if anything you're just bumping your head into that i don't know i think a few deaths a year are worth the aesthetic of coconut trees and clearing all public (laughs) areas of these killers and actually there are signs in australia and in honolulu that are written in english and japanese that say beware falling coconuts and it's a coconut tree and it looks like people running And these coconuts look like they're literally impacting towards the heads of these people. So not only is Evan joining us into this podcast, my cousin Corey is obviously joining us as well. Corey, we're in the middle of talking about a certain trend that's going on. And can you guess what it is? I think I heard something about coconuts. Yep, it's death by coconut, my boy. Death by coconut. They kill more than sharks. Okay. You're a great white fear man himself. You think dying by a great white is the worst thing in the world, and you are scared of sharks for this reason. I don't think it's the worst. I feel like probably... I think a coconut is pretty freaking bad, man. Nah. Pretty quick. Versus, like, burning to death. I guess so. Well, you die by a coconut, you die pretty fast. What are they writing... super funny. What are they writing on your tombstone when you die by a coconut? Oh, they're fucking (laughs) dumbass. Or really bad luck, or... Like, because not all of them are going to be from them shaking a tree. I'm sure there's a couple in there that are just like, it's the wind. Can you imagine Robbie? Here lies Robbie. His life was complete. Then he was killed by a fucking coconut. Stupid idiot. <laughs> from, from nuts to nuts. Hashtag should have stayed inside. <laughs> so the background of this is coconut fruit come from the coconut palm, which can grow up to 30 meters, which is 98 feet tall. Okay, all right, just hearing that. And coconut is sizable and it's hard and like it's, it's full of water, so it's got weight. It's like a, someone dropped yeah, a water. Dude. We've experienced a water balloon hitting us and not why breaking. We, why are we cracking coconuts right now while doing this podcast? Do you want to, be. someone go out and buy coconuts real quick? Let's do it. 
Sounds actually Next pretty time. amazing. So with the pinnate leaf 4 um, to 6 meters, which is 13 to 20 feet long, and a pinnate of 60 to 90 centimeters long, older leaves will break away cleanly from the tree, leaving a smooth trunk, while a mature and thriving tree can yield up to 75 fruits per year. That's 75 killers on one tree. How many trees are in an area? It is more common to get fewer than 30. A full-size coconut weighs about 1.44 kg, exactly 3.2 pounds. Coconut palms are cultivated in more than 80 countries of the world with a total nut production of 61 million tones per year. Imagine that. That could break your neck. A freaking 98-foot-tall tree dropping a 3.6-pound item on your head? Nah. I don't feel like calculating that You can drop physics, a but... penny from the top of the Empire State Building and kill somebody. Imagine dropping a coconut from 98 feet and it just cracking your skull. Yeah. What would that sound be like? It's mm, right no, in your head. No, it might be a little more muted because of the like actual crack of the skull. Yeah. Can you imagine there's like getting ready to take a picture of your family? Like you're setting up the camera on a time shot, and you go to run over there and get in there. As soon as you're on your way there, like running to get into the photo mm-hmm. before it clicks, and just coconut just side swipes you off a cliff. And then it's like snap, and you got a photo bomb of your at the moment of your death. That'd be a cool. Actually, that'd be a cool picture. Honestly, I, th- I think here lies you, Jerry. This is my coconut. uncle Robbie. <laughs> a few deaths a year are worth the the natural beauty of. Dying by a coconut? Yeah. Well, coconut, actually, it was it was published on the, um, what did he call it? A Thousand Ways to Die? Someone, oh, God. Caribbean yeah, man was, dying by a coconut? That, that show is a, awesome. I mean, I'll be a little bit more aware next time when there's some coconut trees, I guess. Well, the origin of death by coconut legend was a 1984 research paper by Dr. Peter Bars titled Injuries Due to Falling Coconuts, published in the Journal of Trauma, now known as the Journal of Trauma and Acute Care Surgery. In his paper, Barris observed that in Papua New Guinea, where he was based, over a period of four years, 2.5% of trauma admissions were for those injured by falling coconuts, with at least two fatalities. That figure went on to be misquoted as 150 worldwide, which was based Based on the assumption that other places would suffer a similar rate of falling coconut deaths. In March 2012, Bars received an IG Nobel Award from the Annuals of Improbable Research in rec- recognition of research that cannot or should not be replicated. In response to dubious distinction, Bars told the Canadian Medical Association Journal, when you're treating these injuries daily, it's not funny at all. So there's actually a number you can call about dangerous coconut trees, and the number is 888 888- Two nine eight two seven zero nine. So following the publication of Barr's study, exaggerated claims about the number of deaths by coconuts begin to spread. Reports of deaths by coconut become so widespread that Straight Dope, a newspaper column devoted to exposing myths, reported that it had become an urban legend. Another writer, Joe Best, described the claim of widespread deaths as a journalistic equivalent of contemporary legend. An analysis by the Shark Research Institute cites a press release from Club Travel, a UK-based travel insurance company, as helping to spread the urban legend. An attempt to market travel insurance to individuals traveling to Papua New Guinea. The release stated that coconuts were 10 times more dangerous than sharks. In May 2002, the legend gained new momentum when George H. Burgess, director of the International Shark Attack File, claimed that falling coconuts kill 150 people worldwide per year. So concerns about death by coconut have been reported extensively in mainstream media sources. Such reports include this, and these are the reports that we've heard about people dying by coconuts. In February 1985, the New York Times reported on the hazards posed by coconut trees and noted that falling coconuts could strike a person on the ground with a force of almost 2,000 pounds. Jesus. Imagine a 2,000-pound fruit hitting you in the head. (laughs) I've heard stories... Picture a watermelon splat. That's your brain when a coconut hits it. It's like those people that drop bowling balls off of the top of like a really oh. tall building into some jello or something and you just watch it like that. Like, hey Jimmy, what happens if we throw this TV off the top of the roof? Well, I don't know, let's try it. It only takes five pounds of pressure to break skin. It only takes five pounds of pressure ripping your off. In general or like in it, a it, point it, it needs to be like a point or a, a sharp edge. 
So in August 2001, the Toledo Blade reported that a check with experts found that a human was more likely to be killed by a pig or a falling coconut than by a shark on the prowl for dinner. In February 2002, the Daily Telegraph reported that coconut trees were being removed from beaches in Queensland, Australia to guard against death by coconut. This was popular because of everyone saying that there are 150 deaths per year by coconut. So Australia is like, we should probably get these coconut trees out of here. And it sounds like it's going to be dangerous to the public. This is so ridiculous. Oh, wait, no. What, what, what would I think that, it's actually a pound of pressure. What would, what would that accent be? What, did you break skin? Yeah. And they're still focused on skin breaking. We're talking about <laughs> coconuts killing people and how Australia is like. We need to know how to break skin. Probably, Robbie. Everything in Australia kills you. Coconuts. You gotta worry about coconut trees. <laughs> Crikey, that's a croc. Oi, that's a dangerous, that's a dangerous Australian coconut tree. Son of a bitch. Gotta take that out of here. So, this piece, um, actually, uh, the Boston Herald ran an op-ed piece titled, Travelers Should Watch Out for Coconuts, the Killer Fruit. The piece reported on the removal of palm trees bearing coconuts in Queensland and noted that local officials were advising campers not to pitch their tents under coconut trees. That's a smart rule. Okay, so in Honolulu, they have signs up in Honolulu that say, be careful from falling coconuts. And it's people running like they're being chased by a serial killer and coconuts are like flying at their heads. Hilarious. And it's in Japanese and English. And the reason why it's in Japanese also is because there actually is a high population of Japanese people. Yeah, they get a huge Hollywood. amount of Japanese tourism. Which is hilarious because didn't Japan attack? Yeah, that's actually one of the... That's actually a Pearl good... Harbor. Um, we went to the Pearl Harbor Memorial, me and my brother, and it actually made you really upset because these people were taking selfies in front of the names of all the people that were died <clears throat> and that died on there. And it was really, really like, it, it was something that really fueled aggression towards a certain race, which isn't right, I don't believe, but it's hard to look from that angle when you're experiencing such emotion in a place and seeing someone or a race that might have been the intentional cause even though they weren't linked to that they couldn't have been them obviously but it's it's it's, it's a, like you can't blame all the coconuts for a few coconut murders you know like, just certain coconuts that so didn't have it all bad, figured out decided they wanted to commit trees. suicide off the coconut tree and there happened well, to be a person below coconut exactly. trees out like, there. you don't want to cut down a coconut tree because the coconut fell from it and killed that, someone there's a few bad eggs you can't label the whole thing you know good god conceptualizing coconuts with morals of people. Good Lord. <laughs> in March 2003, the Morning Call in Pennsylvania reported, you are 30 times more likely to be killed by a falling coconut than by a shark. In July 2005, Richard Roper in the Chicago Sun's Times cited a 2001 report from the London Times for the proposition that you're more likely to be killed by a falling coconut than a shark. In February 2009, CBS News reported, you have a better chance of being killed by a falling coconut than by a shark. I had a lot of people are trying to just associate getting killed with a coconut being more likely to happen than dying by a shark. I feel like that's a big push to get people back in the water after these shark attacks like Jaws come out. Yeah. You see Jaws, you don't want to step in the water for a little while. Well, see, the thing about shark attacks compared to coconuts, coconuts are just a random act of <coughs> God in nature where sharks have to make an actual mistake to attack a human. Mm, well, ish, ish. I mean, sometimes they would, like, I feel like they would. If they were starving. They would, yeah, they would keep eating the human. Like, they, they, go, they go after, like, seals. They've taken limbs. Seals we should just dolphins, start, right? like,. Throwing coconuts dolphins? at sharks. I think See, so. that'll kill sharks. Yeah, I thought when dolphins are around, like, when you're surfing and shit, I thought, like, when dolphins are around, sharks... That might be true. Away. I, I I just assumed that they might go after dolphins. Why are we like, talking about, about dolphins, dolphins and not focused. focused on hairy coconut fruit that is falling down know, from the tree? Dolphins, dolphins might be smart enough to earlier. evade and, and fast enough to evade and scare away sharks. My so. big question is, why did Tom Hanks use a volleyball as a friend, and why didn't he just use a coconut? They seem more lethal than a volleyball. Well, like a coconut... Um, Wilson's the a silent killer. Would deteriorate. Oh, what? Coconut would deteriorate. Not for a lie. long time. Yeah, but he was on that for a long fucking time. Like and a, he already had a volleyball. He was sick of coconuts. Volleyball is the most single different thing. 
In November 2010, The Guardian reported that the Indian government removed coconuts from the trees at Mumbai's Gandhi Museum for fear that a nut would descend on the head of a President Obama who had oh recently gosh. visited the city. Hold on. They better have harvested them at least. They said for fear that a nut would descend on the head of <laughs> President Obama. I got it who had recently visited the city. The article cited the Barr study and observed, thanks to Indian officials and perhaps also to Barr's, Obama's recent visit to Mumbai was devoid of coconut trauma. <laughs> Did you not hear what I just said? The fear that President Obama might get hit in the head with a coconut. That, that's one of what the things. protocol does the Secret Service have to protect the Obama from being hit by a uh, coconut? That is one of a lot of things that I've encountered in my life. You know what I just realized? What? If that coconut hit the President Obama in the head, then would that be seen as, like, coconuts are racist because he's our black president? No. Like, that, that's a thing that I've heard that fits into a category in my life that I like to call too funny to laugh at. It's, too, like, it's like too funny to, like... It's so conceptually funny that it's, like... It, it's hard to actually just laugh, you know? Well, in October 2011, the Australian Broadcasting Corporation broadcast a story in which Christopher Neff from the University of Sydney claimed that while people may not pay attention to the statistics, you are more likely to be killed by a coconut than eaten by a shark. Another claim for sharks. So let's talk about some documented occurrences of the death by falling coconut trend. Document instances of death by coconut include the following, and approximately 1777, King Tutai of Mangia in the Cook Islands has a concubine who died after being struck by a falling green nut. Damn. In 1833, four people died from falling coconuts on the island of Salian. In January 1943, a U.S. Marine was killed in his sleep when struck in the head by a falling coconut near Henderson Field on Guadalcanal. Probably while, like, in a hammock or something. Can you imagine, like, um... Either You're trying like, to enjoy Corona and get hit in the head by a fruit. But like, what if you get to like look up, like <laughs> you hear you hear a noise because this is what ninety feet up or something. You hear a noise, you go like, you look up, and as you're like looking up, like it just like, and like you just get like half a, half of a split <laughs> second to just like realize something's coming at you. And then it's like literally taking a ninety mile an hour fastball to the face. I mean, especially if you're, what if you're. Head leans over the back of a chair. I wonder if that would take your head off. No, that's only three no. pounds. It'd probably it's snap like a, your neck, though. Would it really crack? I mean, it might bruise your skull. Do you think it would crack your skull? How much from, more force do you need to really from 90 like, feet, your head? A four pound item. Right. Hitting you in from the head. Times from 100 six. feet up. What's gravity? Uh, it's 9.8 something something feet per second. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Shit. Velocity. We just know you can die by a coconut. Where, where are the smart? It doesn't children? take much to hurt your head, man. People get, I mean, you see, what, the, what is it, CD, CDT scans with the football players getting a lot of trauma. Your brain is basically in a car with no airbags. Well, break so, your neck, for sure. Well, when, think of your brain as you driving a car. So when if you get into an accident and you don't have airbags, you're just going to slam into what's ever in front of you, what's ever behind you, what's ever from the side of you. That's your brain and your skull. When it hits a trauma, if you get hit from the front, your brain lunges forward while your whole body goes back, and it literally hits the front of your skull and then flies right back. Like, it's being rocked around in there. So that's what's with common with football players when they're getting, like, this brain deterioration and these brain, like, effects. Because... You're, you're, it's a sensitive thing. When you get, there's no impact in the world, especially with wrestling and these types of things. When you get knocked out, when you get a freaking, what is it? Um, God, the, a, a concussion, those types of things. This is all brain trauma. It's hard to think that from 98 feet, a four pound item almost falls and hits you in the head. You're not going to get some type of trauma. Who's the guy that gets hit by a coconut? Yeah, and from from nine, from nine loses feet, all his die. memory. You're going to die. From you're 90 die. feet. Concussion? At least concussion, if not. Like, yeah, okay. I think, that, I think from 90 feet, it falls right on your head, and I think that's instant death. 
Yeah. Well, if it's the top of your head where it's soft, versus like your like your forehead. Yeah. But man, like right in the face, man. Oh. Well, on August. Um, 26, 1952, a seven-month-old baby died when it was struck in the head by a coconut while being held by its mother in oh Singapore. Oh, my. That's terrible, but I just pictured a mom like, smile for the no, camera, Jeffrey, horrible. and the baby's like, ah, and then a freaking coconut just... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's bad, but... That was a great sound effect you just made. Kill somebody. In 1966, a resident of Rabaul, Papua New Guinea, was was killed while eating lunch beneath a coconut tree when struck in the face by a falling coconut. Struck in the face. He was struck in the face. That's what I'm saying. Headshot. No, like... No, not eat. You're yeah. sitting there eating a sandwich, you like... look up and bam! Here's the scene, ready? I'm gonna play it out. You break your neck. You're eating a ham and cheese. Oh, this is a wonderful ham and cheese sandwich. I'm so, it's a beautiful day out, and I love how I'm under this coconut... Fucking dead. But dead. <laughs> but Sandwich in hand. It's probably like that wide on the bottom. Of the Who's the head. guy that so saw that sad. happen and just walked up and took his sandwich and yeah. walked away? So what? I said, who's the guy that just walked up, took the dude's sandwich, and then just walked away? It was me. Nobody's. Re- I'm going to report that death later after I enjoy this guy's ham and cheese. Hot pocket. God. So, in July 1973, a two-year-old girl was killed and her aunt injured during a family picnic at Kopoi Beach Center near Diamond Head, Hawaii, when a cluster of 57 coconuts weighing more than 100 pounds fell from a tree. What the the incident was Hawaii's first recorded fatality from coconuts that made them put up a sign that said, Beware of falling coconuts. I have been to Diamond Head and I have not seen a coconut tree. Is that why? Maybe literally. 57 coconuts falling on your head. You talk about raindrops keep falling oh on my, my head. Coconuts killed my daughter. Now she's dead. What no, is happening in Hawaii? Don't vacation there. I don't want to go back. Next time my grandma goes there, I'm letting her know. My, our cousins live in Hawaii, Corey. We have to warn them about this trend. Why aren't they on the They're podcast? They're in big trouble. They are in danger. They don't Real need danger. to worry. You're worried about sharks? I'm worried about a coconut knocking me out when I'm with my little son Jeffrey and killing you taking a family stroll they're eating a picnic man I guess I guess palm trees provide a similar aesthetic with a weighing more than a hundred pounds imagine dropping a a, like a a a child's bowling ball on your head shit so and oh my god in November 1991, a mourner was killed by a falling coconut while attending a funeral at a cemetery in southern Sri Lanka. It's not funny, but you're already at a funeral and it's, you it's die. So, th- that's the thing. It is funny. That's why it's that's why it's so terrible. In April 2001, a resident of Anatu was killed by a falling coconut while seeking shelter from adverse weather conditions relating to cyclone Sosi. Imagine a cyclone's coming and you're trying to get away and a coconut hits you in the head. Uh, Dude, imagine suck. Imagine Australia having like some type of hurricane and there's just dangerous coconuts flying around. Instead of Sharknado, it's coconut NATO. You're just getting pelted with these things. It's like standing in front of a tennis ball or a baseball pitching machine. Just getting hit in the head. Like Happy Gilmore, he takes it to the chest with the baseball pitching machine. You're, imagine that with coconuts. Mm. God, Happy Gilmore. What a good fucking movie. <laughs> That's well, there's many accounts from freaking... I think there's like six accounts in 2002, seven accounts in 2003... Uh, in March 2009, there's a giant gap between deaths and coconuts. By 2003 and 2009, it seems like they took a break. Um, 2009 in March, a 48-year-old Luit John Chun in Nakhon SC, Providence of Thailand, was killed when a monkey used to harvest coconuts furiously kicked them down to his master, hitting him in the head. You trained a monkey to get coconuts for you. You piss that monkey off. He goes, okay, let me get some coconuts for you real quick. Go up there. Come on, faster, faster. Monkey gets up there and starts kicking coconuts down on your head. You're like, what did I do? Instead of him throwing poop at you, he's throwing coconuts. (laughs) Better better coconuts than poop. I'd rather get hit with shit than a coconut. Not me. 
You'd rather die than be covered in shit. <laughs> In May 2010, a one and a half month old girl was killed when a falling coconut struck her in the head during a religious ceremony outside the family's home <laughs> in India. In August 2010, a 69 year old man was killed by a coconut that fell out of a 12 meter or 39 foot palm tree as he sat in a rocking chair outside his home in Melgar, Colombia. Imagine you're just sitting there rocking back and forth. And you're like, you're like listening to some old time music and you're just like, I'm finally retired and get to live out my life in luxury. Just golf all day and piss everyone off. And the next thing you know, like, you damn kids, get off my luck. And a, right in the head was a coconut. Knocks him out. Breaks least, his rocking chair. At least it's instant. You come home to your grandfather, you're dead. And a coconut is placed. And the coconut has the three holes, so it looks like a bowling ball. He and did. it just looks at you. And it looks like the two eyes and a mouth hole. And you're just like that silent killer. In 2013 was the last recorded death of a coconut. A man in Colombo, Sri Lanka, was killed after a coconut fell on his head. And that's just it. You can give a lot of things for that. So some variations. While the typical form of death by coconut is by trauma resulting from a coconut falling from a tree under the force of gravity, variations of the phenomenon has also been reported. One of the most unusual variations occurred in India in the 1930s. Newspapers across the world reported that a schoolboy in India had been killed by a magic or enchanted coconut. In an effort to determine who had taken a book from a classroom, an elementary school teacher at Hong Holly required each of his students to touch a coconut bearing an anamam, which is like a religious truth symbol. Okay. So the teacher claimed that one who took the book would face divine wrath upon touching the coconut. One student resisted but was forced to touch the coconut. He reportedly contracted a high fever, fell into delirium, and died within an hour. In April 1983, a coconut was cited as the cause of death for a female goose-beaked whale. The husk from a coconut became lodged in its intestine and the whale beached itself on a sandbar at Siesta Key, Florida. In May 1997, a report of death by coconut oil was published. The production line manager at a factory in Kiev, Ukraine, drowned in a vat of coconut oh oil. Oh my word, what? His body was discovered after he was reported missing. What? And police were investigating to determine whether he fell or was pushed into the coconut oil. You know how thick coconut oil is? Right. It's not comfortable. And we drink this for hydration. Think about this, people. Next time you're drinking coconut water. It was just amazing, by the way. Is it hydrating or yes. is it a silent killer? No, it's a gift from the freaking nature gods. It's like nectar of nature. While you drink your coconut water, I want you to think about the life of that coconut. I wish I could drink two a day. Okay, well, guess what? I need to move somewhere with... Like, One of those tree. coconuts that's put in that thing, I guarantee you probably killed a two-year-old somewhere. You're drinking the blood of that two-year-old. In many ways, we all are, but I'm not making that. In December 1923, a Newcastle, Pennsylvania man was killed while trying to crack open a coconut with the butt end of a loaded revolver. What? The gun discharged Jesus. and the man was shot in the abdomen. First of all, why don't you just shoot the coconut? But... I'm going to use my gun and break open this coconut. Bang, like he pow, he right did. in the hip. And then he's just, I'm going to bleed out now because I just wanted some coconut milk. He won his fate, Darwin Award. Darwin awarded him. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's kind of what I was thinking with people who died by being hit on the head by a coconut. Like, so that, that's, that's not the coconut tree's fault. Other occurrences with coconuts being used as deadly weapons include in 1944, reports were published that Japanese troops were using coconut bombs in defending against the American invasion of Laet. Colonel Alan Fieldman reported that bombs were created by placing hand grenades and picric acid inside hollowed out coconuts. The coconuts were then sealed with wax attached to a string and thrown at the American troops. In July 2004, a 55-year-old Surrey Lankin man was killed when he was struck on the head by a coconut. Police concluded that the blow was not the result of a coconut falling from a tree, but rather that had been sustained in a fight that developed after the victim invited a group of friends to his hut to enjoy a hooch party. What? Oh, yeah. 
There are also reports of deaths resulting from the collapse of coconut palm trees. These include in April 1992, an 81-year-old man was killed in Masalia when he was pinned under the trunk of a coconut tree that had been uprooted by high winds. His family knew that he had been employed as a coconut plucker and had previously survived a fall from a coconut tree. In May 2006, a man and a boy were killed by a fallen coconut palm trees during a tropical storm in the Philippines. In August 2011, a 56-year-old man was killed after an entire coconut tree toppled onto him while he was motorcycling in Cambering Baro Soprang, Tarkar, Kula Tangaro, Malaysia. So, other... Rep- that's Malaysia. Well, yeah. Yeah. Other reports credit the strength of the coconut palm trees with saving the lives of persons who have been tied to the trees for safety during high wind or tsunami events. We need to get some coconut for this That was actually something that happened when a tsunami was coming or a high wind was coming. A mother would attach her kids, if she didn't have any safe place to do, would attach their kids to a coconut tree because they're very, very deep-rooted into the ground. It's very, very hard to actually pluck a coconut tree. So getting, removing them in Australia, I give them credit for that, and India. And also there was an account I read online that someone was in a hotel. Hotels had... um this type of uh, coconut trees in it for like exotic amusement, you know, aesthetic look like you were talking about, Evan, actually fell into a baby's cradle and killed it. Like a baby stroller killed uh, the coconut fell. Because they had coconuts by the pool. Damn. Imagine being in a pool. Mommy, look at me. I can swim without my floaties. You just get knocked in the head by a coconut. I bet the mom would carry that and be like, I should have thought, like, why would I think I'd be okay to be under one of those things? I bet she like looks back on that with like, the wrong look you blame yourself right imagine you're in a game of Marco Polo and a coconut when just knocks you just out just chance dude it's just chance <laughs> I just immediately thought of Marco Polo and <laughs> like a kid's out of the water and, it's, and you say fish out of water shut up and a coconut just hits that kid in the head and like that's what you get for cheating didn't say polo for 10 minutes I'm floating around in the freaking pool Popular culture, the American poet Frederick Seidel wrote a poem titled Coconut, which included the following lines. A coconut can fall and hit you on the head, and if it falls from high enough, can kind of knock you dead. Dead beneath the coconut palms, that's the life for me. On their 1995 CD, yep, Making a Mess, the writer's singing team at Bob Gibson and Silverstein included a song on this subject entitled Killed by a Coconut, which humorously describes a series of men and their fatal encounters with coconuts. Fallen coconut injuries were featured in the American television series Gilligan's Island. A June 1965 episode revolved around an injury sustained by Gilligan after a fallen coconut hit him in the nose. Actor Bob Denver explained the success of the series as follows. Little kids seem to love it. It doesn't take a great intellect or reasoning power to be able to laugh at a monkey running off with Gilligan's dinner or a guy getting conked on the head by a coconut. When Denver died, the show's creator, Sherwood Shorts, said that Denver didn't get enough credit for his talent as a slapstick actor. A lot of people don't think it's hard to be an actor when all you have to do is react to a falling coconut. In the film Castaway, the stranded character played by Tom Hanks is alarmed several times by loud thuds, which he cannot identify. He finally sees a coconut fall making the sound. In March 2006, Newsweek ran a satirical article on former Enron CEO Kenneth Lay, stating that he testified that he had sustained amnesia from being struck in the head by a falling coconut, and a result of the injury was unable to recall the events that occurred during his time at Enron. The video game Donkey Kong 3 has the antagonist Donkey Kong throwing coconuts from overhead at the player trying to kill him. A hit causes a missed turn. In the SpongeBob SquarePants episode, rock a bye bye valve Patrick oh. Starr is addicted to a show where nothing happens except the man gets hit in the head by a coconut. In the Kirby video game series, explosive coconuts are a reoccurring obstacle that usually fall from trees. And in 2013, David Del Monte published a collection of short stories called Coconuts Kill More People Than Sharks. So wrapping up the article of Death by Coconut. Do you think coconuts are uh, something we should warn, be warned more about in the public? Yeah, I no. think no, I do. I think just if if you've heard a shark uh, public safety announcement, then you might as well hear a coconut one because coconut be, is more. You so should have to not? sign a waiver before you buy a coconut you know, in a store. No, seriously, 
after this, I am now going to have just a little bit more uh, awareness when I'm around coconut trees. Not palm trees, but coconut trees. Be aware. There's a real killer out there. Just a slight more. Just a slight little bit more. But think, like, though. All right. Next time you're in the looking, grocery store. You're like, this ripe. Uh, you know, because I feel like, I feel like, which way do you think you'd go? Do you think it would just fall on you without you looking? Do you think it'd be from you, like, shaking the tree and it, then it falls on you when you shake the tree? Or do you think it'd be when you're looking up somehow from, like, laying down right I now? just want to see one of those guys that try and impress people by climbing a tree and they go to do that and a coconut just knocks them out. I, the face one was bad because it takes your neck, like, back to, like, folds you back. Gives you straight whiplash. No, worse than that, dude. That it reminds me of that. Right, it breaks your neck. It reminds me of that commercial. If you have a painfully twisted neck like this, and the lady's head like t- completely sideways. You don't no. know what that is? No. Dang. It's like some law firm commercial. If you've had a painfully twisted neck like this, and the lady's head's like this, like it's like she's right? obviously turning her head. Oh. But um, seriously, this should give you something to think about next time you walk into the store and you see coconuts. You should be a little bit more aware. Like they're they they they're killers. You know? You too could die in a vat of it. I'd rather just take a gun and try and break open a coconut and accidentally shoot myself. I don't know. If I were going to die at all, I'd rather get hit in the head. That, that, that's the way it's got to be. If I'm going to die by a coconut, like it's got to be instant and it's got to make a conk noise. Yeah. So for anybody that wants to look up death by coconuts and realize that there's a lot of actual things about this uh, silent killer... And just realize, the true enemy out there is a coconut. They are not hydrating at all. They are death in the form of a bowling ball.